Hi, this is Bren Antrim, a librarian here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a database tour of environmental studies. In order to get to the library homepage from the college homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or click on Student Support and scroll all the way down to More Helpful Services and Resources, and we're in the middle, alphabetically, Library. Now before we go into the tour, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the page. On the library, you can start your search at OneSearch, which is a listing of everything that we own or are subscribed to. It can be a little bit overwhelming. It also includes web resources. Um, so narrowing it down can be a little bit of a challenge. So if you have a specific topic in mind, you want to perhaps start at the databases. Before we head into the databases, some quick links here that you need to see. Research Guides leads you to a variety of library guides um, on a variety of topics, including citation styles. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can ask a librarian. This is reference assistance 24-7. If you contact us when SMC Library is open, then you'll contact one of our librarians. If you contact us when the campus is closed, then you will get in contact with a librarian from a college or university um, in one of our partner institutions. If they can't answer your question, they will leave us a ticket. And when we are open again, we will email you to make sure that you got your answer. Past workshops and videos, database tours and other things are linked here on our workshops and videos link. Upcoming events here at the library are listed and linked. Resources including our YouTube channel and another link to Ask a Librarian are under here. Hours and contact information are listed and our social media links. So if today, for example, say I'm interested in sustainability, I might go into databases to start off with, I want to give a warning first. This is search for databases, not search in databases. So for example, if I put sustainability, I might get a database that includes that word in their database description, but I might not. And I might miss databases that actually have articles on my topic that don't include that word in their broader database description. So instead, I would want to hand over to all subjects. And that will allow me to find a database, and then I can search within that database. So as I search through here, I see a variety of different topics. And if I'm looking um, at sustainability, I might look at science, or I might look more specifically at environmental science. When I do that, the best bets that are listed up at the top are those databases that students have found information on topics related to environmental studies. This may or may not be my best bet, but they're the ones that are most commonly used. I can also go through and take a look at the databases by title, take a look at their um, descriptions and see if they look like they might be interesting for me. So don't just pick one and stick with it. Try a few different ones. Today, we're going to try environmental studies, Gale in context, and see what we can do with this one. Within here, you can just go in here and do a search. You can also take a look through and see what they have listed. They have the most current interesting things up. Um, and for example, I'm in California. I might be interested in earthquakes. Things are happening tectonically. Um, I could also go down and take a look at various issues broken down by topic. So energy, global change, land and water use, populations, specific states, etc. So if I'm really interested in, <coughs> excuse me, uh, sustainable development, that would fall under land and water use because that's what sustainable development is. How do we use our land and water and how does that impact our environment? When I click on that broader topic, it will give me related smaller topics within it. So I can look through here and I might find things on drinking water or I might find things on marine pollution or local food but I'm really interested in sustainable development and sustainable cities. So I'm going to go into sustainable cities. The first thing that it does is it gives me an overview and then it breaks it down to specific resources on my topic. When you go into the overview, it tells you about your topic, gives you further readings where you can read more about it, gives you a citation that you can then add to your paper, Make sure you fix it because sometimes the robot screws it up, allows, it to save, allows you to save it to your drives, and gives you more articles that are related to it. You can cite it, 
email it to yourself, download it, or print it. And again, more options to explore. It gives you both specific articles that you can look at, and it looks at the contents of this article itself. So if I want to look specifically what it says about sustainable cities, I can go down there and do that. <clears throat> so this overview is a really good beginning to get a foundational understanding of your topic. When you go back to sustainable cities as a topic, it will tell you here are all of the different formats of information about it. Journals, case studies, vlogs, magazines, blogs, websites, reference, which are things like encyclopedia and dictionary entries, news articles, related topics to it. I can go through each of these individually, or I can search within this, and I can say specifically, air. What in all of these results have to do with air? And as you see, it breaks it down considerably. So that's one way that you can break it down. Notice, notice most of these things are journals because there's research done on it and news because it's making the news. Or I can go back a little and I can say, I just want academic journals. This is huge. So what do I do to make it less huge and more usable and more specific to my topic? I can filter my results. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that everything that I get is in a peer-reviewed journal. Then I want to take a look at the publication date because I want the most current information. So I might go back the last three, five, or ten years. So I'm going to say the last three years because I have a lot of information to get through here. I want to make sure that I get the most current information. And that cuts it down by 90%. Then within that, I can say, what kind of document is it? And it gives all sorts of things, including a city overview and some surveys and a couple of editorials. I'm not that interested in those. I want articles. So I take out anything that is not an article. Then I can take a look at my subjects and say, what subjects are assigned to these actual articles? And I'm interested in sustainable development. So I will pick only those articles within this 540 some odd journal articles that are specifically about sustainable development, include information about air or air quality, are peer reviewed, are articles, and are within the last three years. So that gives me extremely specific results. And this is really useful when you have a huge topic. When you have a smaller topic, be careful with these filters because you can filter yourself down to zero way too fast. So once I find one that looks interesting, I can click on that. And just like the overview, it gives me the options to save it to my cloud, email it, download it, or print it. It gives me some accessibility options as well. I can translate it, make it larger or smaller, change the way it's presented, have it read it to me. It gives me other articles that are related and other subjects that are related so I can further explore it. It gives me all of the information from the scholarly journal article. And it's a journal article, so it's long. Gives me all of its charts. Gives me a citation. And again, gives me related articles to it. Once I have gotten everything that I can from this article, I can go back to my results, find another article, or change my filters or change my search terms in order to narrow in on what I really need for my research. And if you need help during that, again, ask a librarian at any time and we will help you with it. Good luck with your research.